you know, I forgot all about um, this interview that Jojo Diaz had did with Fight Hype at his post fight with Devin Haney, and they asked him, you know, who was the best fighter you stepped in the ring with, and he actually said that Gary Russell Jr. He was like, Gary Russell was the best fighter he ever got in the ring with, dude. He said his speed, and he said he definitely has pop. He said Gary Russell Jr. has pop. A lot of people don't look at Gary Russell as having power, but... He, you know, you could just look at him and see, tell he got some kind of power, man. You know, it might not be that like that KO knockout one punch power, but he got some, got a lot of speed, a lot of power behind that speed that he brings, man. Um, but they asked him, okay, so what does Devin Haney really need to improve on? And remember when I was saying how uh, I think Devin Haney's weight drained. I think his power is not resonating because his weight, the weight cut is is affecting him. I think at one forty. He moves up, it's going to be much different. And I also said the way he, he, his stance is a little awkward and his legs just look weak. You know, I was saying all of this stuff, man. And then JoJo comes out and says, the thing with Devin Haney is his pop. He doesn't, he had to work on his pop. And, and, and right there, you know, this is a boxer that's faced him saying he doesn't have any, his power is just not there. And Jorge Linares, he, you know, I remember Devin Haney was asking him, hey, you know, how was my power? I really didn't like that too much. I'm like, you're deaf, man. You, you didn't have to do that, bro. Believe in yourself, man. If you're not a power puncher, bro, that's just what it is. You know, that's just going to be what you are, bro. You know, um, you don't have to ask your opponents how was, how was your power. That's kind of, I don't know, that's, that's weird, you know. But um, he, uh, Jorge Lawrence said, yeah, you know, he, during the initial interview, like right in front of Devin Haney, he was like, yeah, yeah. But then in another interview, you heard him say something totally different about his power. So I'm like, okay. And then he he said his he said something about Devin Haney's legs. And, you know, he needed to work on his legs a lot. And that, that'll help his power. And he brought up the, uh, that Devin Haney's weight. You know, he's a big dude, and his weight is probably an issue. He said, he said he'll move up. He should he should get more knockouts as he moves up. And that's exactly what I've been telling y'all. That is, this is coming from a pro boxer saying this. And I've been I've been watching Devin Haney. I'm like, yo, his his he his legs is the problem with his power. That's one of the problems in his weight. He's a big dude for 135. He needs to go up to 140. And that's probably that's exactly what I think they're gonna do after he fights Cambosos. I think at least I, I think Devin Haney is in the same situation that. Errol Spence is in when it comes to uh, welterweight. Probably got one fight left, and then that's it, and, and he's going to move up. Same thing with Devin Haney. You know, power, man, is just, I guess it's one of those things that you you can train for, you can teach power up to a certain extent, man. You know, heavyweights is like a different, it's a different thing when it comes to heavyweight boxing, though, but, you know, power, either you're born with it most of the time or you just don't have it, bro. You know, that's just what it is. You can't force it. You know, maybe I, I, I think I think he does have it. I, I I told you I think it's the weight. We'll have to see when he moves up to 140. We'll see what we need to see. He starts getting knockouts at 140. I'm talking about effortlessly knockouts or stoppages and like TKOs. If he start, if that still happening, the weight was the problem. You know, it was suppressing his power. You know, him being some people are just naturally big, and it, it depletes their power to keep on draining themselves like that. Some fighters could just move up and down weight, and they carry their power. You know, so it depends on who you are, your genetics. That's what it is. But uh, the thing is with Devin Haney, like if he doesn't have, let's just say he doesn't have any power. Like let's say his power, he just don't have much power. Let's say. That's the case. I don't think it is, but let's just assume that's what it is, right? Devin Haney's defense sometimes is a little questionable too. It could it could be better. He he has slight twitch reflexes, but I still think it could be a little better, man. And that that's what kind of like would concern me a little bit because he already don't have he wouldn't have the power to keep people off of him, and then his defense is a little shaky. He steps up in competition. You know, uh, he gonna start getting punched on a whole lot, you know. And it's one thing to be to have almost immaculate defense and to have no power and good footwork, but it's one thing. Then it's another to not have 
the power and then to have spotty defense and good footwork, but because eventually somebody gonna catch up to you. Uh, so when it comes to Devin Haney, man, um, it remains to be seen when it comes to his power. But I, I believe just like Jojo Diaz said, um, his power is there. Uh, it just it, it, it has to unlock at a different weight class. It's 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 not gonna it's not unlocking at 135. That's not his sweet spot with his power. It's gonna have to be at 140 and up. That's just my that's just my uh, my take on this power. And we'll we'll have to see, man. But much respect to Devin Haney. Hopefully he goes in there and, and does his thing against Cambosos. Um, Cambosos is a light fighter, but um, it's a, I think it might be a tall order. But you know, when it comes to certain factors involved in this fight, but I think Dev should be all right. He, this might be the fight, man. Who knows, right? This might be the introduction of of a knockout artist coming up, man. We might see a knockout next month. I mean, in June against Cambosos. What if you know he probably training? I think who's who's Devin training? Was it Mike McCollum? I, I I gotta I gotta I think so. Yeah. And you know what? That's you know Mike McCollum was the man, bro, back in the day. But I'll touch more on that a little bit later, man. About uh, Devin Haney. Um, Who's he training with, and how can it how it will benefit Devin Haney? <laughs> Put it like that. But it's your boy Rebel, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm off this. Peace. Let me know what you think about what JoJo Diaz had to say, because I know a lot of y'all are wondering about Devin Haney's power. Um, so I want to get y'all opinion on it, man. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe for more raw content. I'll catch y'all on the next one.